Hey, it's Joe Glines, and I just want to demonstrate a couple things in my function library here in Excel for using with AutoHotKey. Now, um, there's it's about getting ranges and row use ranges uses rows. Where's the first column? Where's the last column? First row, last row, etc. So let's say we're going to start off here, line five. I'm connecting to the Excel object, and let's start off with rows. So I'll say first, if I could spell first row. Um, and we got to pass a pointer to what we got from line five. And let's just throw this in a message box. And then I'm going to say first row. Now save, reload, and run. And what, what a surprise, right? First row is one. Let's say we actually inserted something here. We should have inserted a couple, but you get the idea. So first row is actually row two, right? So it's a way to see where your data is. Um, the next one so let's see there was first row let's get the last row so that's going to be Excel last row again put the pointer to the thing um, let's go ahead and cancel that one out so the last row is row 10 right so here we can start building our ranges with the, the rows um, let's go ahead and get first column. So first column, and I'm going to return alpha. Um, Excel, some of the functions can take either a number or uh, the, they need the the string, the A B C D. Um, so I have both in here. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate the uh, the strings. So again, put a pointer to it, say reload run. Hey, look, first column's A. What if we ha had a couple, actually, see if I think if I click like this, I can insert a couple blank lines. And now it's C, right? So first column, and let's get the last column. Let's cheat a little here. Just duplicate the line, last column. And this is probably just gonna be last, yeah. So run it, and the last column is H. Um, or if we were to lose one, then it would be G, right? So we're getting it. Um, then I have a another one built in, which is going to be used used range, and this is just a cheap way to get um to get some to get what you want here of the grid so um excel used range it's just rg but i i i in this my function library rg is almost ubiquitously used for range so range excel now if you saw there's a parameter here where header equals one meaning i don't want to include the header so if i can leave this blank and you'll see when i run this it's actually going to give us, so B3 to G10, right? So B3, notice it didn't start on, on B2 because um, I said, hey, basically the headers, uh, I use this for like filtering and sorting data. I don't want my header included into that, right? So if you want to include the header, just um, set this to be zero. And when you run it, then it'll it'll include the actual full used range. And so this, this does basically, a lot of these up here does it all for you. So you can get the used range right there and bam, you have, you know, um, for, it's for the whole spreadsheet, right? So if you have multiple tables, um, you're gonna have to do some other stuff, maybe monitor for a, a blank column or a blank row. Um, and I don't have that built into it, but just start playing with it and you can figure it out. All right, cheers.